All right. We're good to go. All right, here we go. We're ready to go. Um, and it is exactly how it is on the bottom. So vowels is player one, zero is player two, um, and so on. It's immediate charge there. Yeah. <laughs> he just sat in the corner and charged right away. It was really, uh, and I guess, yeah, I guess zero just held Ooh. it down. Oh, he tries to shoot. He loses it. So. Loses it immediately. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the, the charge shot's really great and can be really great in doubles, but you got to be really careful, really easy to lose it and not get your shot off. Oof. Ooh. Right, so, so you saw there that, that um, Val was going for back air, but then Zero also came in the air. So the sort of things that, you know, if you team with someone long enough, you sort of get a feel for who's going to take the kills. Right, right. And who's going to finish the combo. Yeah, there's a lot of communication that needs to go on, uh, especially in 64. Like, you, you come out here and, you, yeah, you, you throw out hitboxes and people will, you know, lose their stock. Yeah, so the stage isn't really teammates. that big, so it's not like you can... A great, up, a great up B there from uh, Bark to make sure he got back to the ledge and uh, take it from zero, or from Val, sorry. Ooh. All right, Bark is off, Dark's off stage. So, separated a bit. Yeah, so you'll see you'll see a lot in this team composition, oh, the oh, Kirby Pika, like wow, that was... Yeah, it's a very common... Uh, Really, it's nice because once they're off stage, you know, uh, Pikachu can't spike at all. But down airs from Kirby, really powerful. It, uh, it, it doubles. They're amazing. Yeah. Uh, I was talking before. You know, it's kind of hard to, to get that down air on Pikachu in singles if you're Kirby. Yeah. It's kind of a risk that you have to take. Uh, but in in doubles, you just you go for it every time, and you have your teammate cover the stage. And it's really scary to be out there as a Pikachu. Yeah. So. Uh, also, Samus. You know, Samus takes definitely a lot of concentration to edge guard. You saw how long that uh, Bark had to be at that ledge just right, to edge guard right. Samus. Um, and kind of the the disadvantage of floatier characters. This includes Kirby, but you know Samus is definitely included in that. If you hit him away and they can recover, but it takes them a while, you get a lot of time to double team the other player. Like that's do, a really yeah. common uh, strategy. On the other hand, though, if, if you do stay in the air for a while, it gives you a lot of opportunity to sort of float around, wait for a down air. Right, um, exactly. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's flip of the coin one way or the yeah, other. So depends you, on your situation. But, you so. know, that's, that's, uh, that's what your teammate's job is. If Up you're floating and you get off the stage, you know, you really just got to go in uh, preservation mode. You got to really help them out. So looks like a pretty solid lead from Dark and Bark here. Yeah, Dark and Bark have been playing really solid uh, in the last several matches, and they're not letting up here, that's for sure. Um, what do you think of the Samus decision now that we've seen it for a while? Um, I mean, Valos his other characters. He plays Falcon, he plays uh, Jigglypuff. Um, I think Samus is probably the best team in teams out of those three. Um, um maybe. Yeah, Falcon is pretty good too. I think Falcon's pretty good, but can be a huge risk. Oh, I don't know how that ball, uh, the charge shot didn't hit anybody, and uh, they're down to their last two stocks. Not, uh, not insurmountable, but... Um, yeah, really so gotta not take tech up that much damage here. Oh, that's a quick stock. Puff isn't necessarily a bad doubles character, but she doesn't have as many advantages as a lot of other characters have. So it's really rough. If they're looking to make a switch here, like Puff is kind of a tough take. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Uh, another problem with Puff is that you know a lot of Puff's game is relying on those long combos into rest. If your partner is paying attention, they can easily just disrupt it. Um, and then you know Jigglypuff dies so easily from all these. Strong smashes at like right, 60 percent right. or something. It, so you know, it's definitely it's definitely nice. Uh, quick you, game for something. Yeah, you have the ability to rest more often and just kind of be less judicious with it because either you'll get hit randomly by something and it won't be a good punish, or your teammate can help you out. Right. But uh, yeah, the flip side is definitely Puff dies so fast in doubles. Yeah. You get 60 percent. Oh, your kill percent. So uh, Val is electing to do the exact same strategy. Uh, yeah, Switch to Samus, go to the corner and charge. Yeah, the um, game wasn't a blowout. I think it was a good choice for them to try this again. Um, and and you know it's one of those things that like you know it's. Losing a double set doesn't always just like in singles. It doesn't mean that you have to switch characters. No, not it just at means all. you need you know you need to make adjustments. And uh, I definitely, I mean certainly Vowels and Zero have adjustments that they can yeah. make that last set. Yeah, uh, I mean uh, Vowels definitely was gimped a little Ooh. too much. I think he really didn't get 
as offensive as he needed to be. And he also was not recovering nearly as much as he would expect the Samus from the team. Correct. Um, and uh, Vowels just kind of missed a, a pretty good, uh, oh man, that was that was a mess all around. That's the opposite of what you want. <laughs> Hit your teammate and then uh, don't kill on the trade. Okay, so that's a kill on the Pikachu, so. Yeah, Vowels was actually like, if he's going to play Samus, he's got to hit his punishes right. And I've, I've seen him miss a bunch already. You saw that he had a down air earlier that he just got. He just missed his second down air off. And yeah. you, if you're going to play Samus, you better take it all the way or you're not going to have a good time. Oh, down air? Ooh. He knew he couldn't get the down air, so he went with the back air. I like the decision. Uh, careful wait there from Bark to make sure he didn't get caught in that on B. Yeah. Samus flying in with those back airs is really good against, uh, you know, if you got both teammates just hanging around, you throw out a back air. It has a gigantic big hitbox. Big hitbox stays out for a while. Uh, Ops to go for the charge. Uh, it's a decent option. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about that option. Now he's lost yeah. the so he's, he's dead. Um, Using that charge shot off stage will push you further away, so it is certainly a risk. Yeah, I, I think it, as a Samus player in these sort of situations, you really just gotta try and stay in the air as long as you can and hope your teammate comes. Because I mean, the Samus in this situation, we, were, we, we talked a little bit about the, the Kirby Pika composition. This is a similar composition just with yeah. Samus in place of the Kirby. Uh, so things that both the Kirby and the Samus will be looking to do, the Pika kind of takes the forefront in a lot of these uh, situations and uh -huh. The Samus and the Kirby will like be there for support, looking to get in back airs, keep them the right. opponents where they want them, yeah, and then looking to down air kill. Yeah, and the nice thing about Samus uh, in this team is that um, you kind of get away from a lot of the Kirby shenanigans. You can't get stuck in a lot of up tilts or easily get it's true. Uh, that Samus. So. That is that is the frustrating thing about Samus, and Samus's singles matchup is not that terrible with Kirby, uh, you know, relative to the tier right, list. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Now we got both off stage here, just a good spot. That's a good bomb drop, but that bomb, if he, yeah, if covered you put it a lot right of space. on the edge. Might have been an even better spot. And now he needs some help here. Yeah, so tough, tough to get around Kirby's down air in, in doubles, and that, yeah, that'll still they're still up. No, they're almost it's high even stock stocks, here. Really not even in percent. But uh, you can just get up there in percent, and so is Kirby now. Um, so back Ooh, throw they, Okay, they had Bark off stage and they let him back. There we go. Ooh, yeah, but but stuck. still in the corner and that, they'll take that stock. Yeah, good not to overextend there. Yeah, yeah, he definitely he definitely could have eaten a down air and uh, lost the stock there. So very careful from uh, Zero. Great pressure from uh, Valves right now, but he gets the grab and now yeah, he really he, has to not be. It was it was here. good pressure, but it was uh, one of those situations where you're in doubles and he took too long. Bark yeah. was able to get over there and mess up anything he had yeah, going and, uh, on. I think that was a decision there that I might not have agreed with. Zero sort of just he had a combo going, so he decided to continue it. But I think saving your partner and when Definitely. you're this low on stocks and this tight, I think that's the more important. Uh, it, de uh, it definitely is not as black and white as a lot of people think it is, but no, certainly sure. in that situation, I agree. I think you know they're really dire to hang on to their stocks at this point. Yeah. Uh, this is their tournament life, as it were. So, uh, but there goes Bark and uh, Dart. Oh, if, can he get this edge guard? Okay, so he does. Oh, not over. That does not means. kill. And he decides not to go. Great DI, but he's dead. So now it's so, one-on-one, so on one, zero versus Dark Horse. Dark, Dark's you know. Kirby is not amazing. I mean, he plays him a lot in doubles and, and certainly is familiar with the character, but it is not his main. So uh -huh. we will see. Ooh. 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 And and this is this is a rough right. matchup. Ooh, good recover. Uh, no, 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 that's to it. That sweet spot that's, and it. that's it. That's yep. so it. Good, to good to wait out the forward smash, but... Uh, we got a good set on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We got a game three out here. The question is, are, are Bark and Dark do anything differently? And I don't suspect they will. Uh, most if they're nodding. They're I don't, I, I don't think they there. need to do anything particularly different, to be honest. Uh, need to clean up some things, make sure they finish off some edge guards. Uh, Zero played amazing that last game, really makes it harder. Uh, Bark lost his stocks early a little bit, yeah. so he should not do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, that, that's the kind of thing that, you know, in between games, you talk to your teammate and you're like, hey, w what do you think? And you're like, nah, we good. We just <laughs> we just played a little rough. Like, I won't die like yeah, an idiot. Yeah. And we'll be good. And sometimes, you know, a lot of these, these teams really come down to these one-on-one exchanges. If you just have to be in the losing end a little bit more often than you win, then you, know, you can 
can make or break the uh, the game. And it was a really good opening from uh, Bar Horse there. Uh, they they certainly opened well, got both kills. Yeah. It's always it, 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 it can happen a lot in doubles where you get both of the first two kills and it and boy is it an advantage. It does. Uh, sure. You're if you manage it's not the best recovery. Okay, so now Val is zero in a pretty tough spot. They um, need to get Bark dead yes. soon and get Dark alone or Dark alone to. to uh, it's tough though. Um, just definitely a a really strong start okay. from Bark and Dark. Okay. But Dark able to nice. kind of hang. Ooh, so they, the reverse back here. they did take the stock, so that is right, what so they need to do, here. right? Oh, goes for the save, a little off. I think instead, actually, going for Pikachu on the ledge might have been a better, uh, better shot. But, um, yeah, Dark and Bark, they're just a little more composed in terms of, like, having their edge guards um, set up so that, you know, one is grabbing the ledge and then the other one is, uh, you know, sort of taking the offensive. And they're they're just they're really controlling the tempo here. Like they're getting they're getting in the hitboxes first and really controlling the space. And it really allows them to kind of do what they want. You know, if you if you're in doubles and you don't have your hitboxes out, you're probably getting comboed. Yeah. That's kind of the first two stocks that and, uh, Dark and zero. messes up the uh, recovery there. I mean, it's not a little bit earlier than expected. It's but not over yet. Vowels is Vowles probably back. Yeah, he got. He has to have help from his teammate there. And zero just comes. That's a that's late. a one hundred percent edge guard. Oh, and that was that was the perfect weight from. Okay, he didn't get the kill, but that was a great weight from Bark on the forward throw to get it to where Dark was back far enough, and that should be a kill. Yeah, yeah that's that's an easy rinse and repeat. <laughs> teammate kill, but they're up so many stocks. I mean. All right. Yeah, so tournament lives for uh, Vowels and Zero here. Uh, if they lose this, I believe they finish 13th, which isn't bad. It's certainly bad. pretty good. Um, ooh, that was a good forward tilt, but he didn't finish it. Yeah, Zero had to go help his teammate. That's the right decision there. Uh, but Vowels is still alive. Zero doesn't know what to do. He's probably dead, though. Yeah, this is going to be real tough for Zero. He's going to have to be a hero. Six stocks to one. Gets two of them, but hero time. Yeah, it's not always a great time to, to hero ball, but it's time. And yeah, so let's see. I think it finished it off. It's back, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> you gotta go for it. You're up four stocks. Get that down there. Oh. oh. Nice tech read. Good escape. But, oh. Uh, fourth throw would have killed there. So yeah, he didn't want it. He didn't want it. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And that'll be it. Uh, so that's a 2 0 for. 2 1. Or 2 1, sorry, for Bark and yeah. Vowels. That was pretty close. Um, yeah, I, 